In this query, we have our basic contact table with over 10,000 contacts. And let's say we don't want to see everyone, but just those people whose birthday is today. In order to display those results, we're going to have to get a bit more complicated with how we create our criteria, combining functions and operators into one single expression. And I know what some of you are probably thinking, why can't we just add the date function equals date to the criteria underneath the birthday field? Well, if we simply type that, that's only going to return people who were born today, meaning you're telling Axis that information in the birthday field must match today's date exactly, month, day, and year. And that's not exactly what we're trying to do. What we want the query to return is really just the match for the month and the day. So to achieve that effect, we're going to have to use three date functions, the month function, the day function, and then of course, the now function. So with that said, let me expand the birthday field real quick so you can see what I type underneath the criteria. And we're going to begin with the day function. So typing out day and open parenthesis, the first section that is required of that day function is the date that you are wanting to distill down only to the day. And in this case, that information is stored in our birthday field. So we need to type out the reference to the birthday field. And all fields you surround with square brackets. So typing one square bracket and birthday and close square bracket. Now we want to close the day function. And continuing on with our expression, we're going to take the day from that birthday field and say that that's going to be equal to the day of today. And this is where our now function comes into play. So rather than typing out the birthday field, now we're using the now function inside the day function. So basically, you're nesting one function within another. And now we need to close the day function. And as of right now, that takes care of the day, but we still need to specify the month in this expression. To tack on more criteria, we're going to use the AND operator. And then we're going to repeat what we typed out before, only this time with the month function leading. So typing out the word month, open parenthesis, same parameter as before, we're going to type in the birthday field in square brackets close that expression and have that equal to the month of now. And of course, don't forget to close the month expression. And now when we press enter, shouldn't have any error messages and you should see the and get capitalized. That's a good sign. That means access recognizes the expression you've typed out. And now all we have to do is run. And as you can see, only the birthdays will show up in this query for a grand result of 32 contacts. It's a lot of birthday cards. And jumping back into design view, that is how you combine functions and operators in criteria. Now I do want to show you one more thing. When I save this query and close it, Axis does a funny thing. And when I open that query up one more time and jump back into design view, notice what it did to our expression. It actually went through and separated everything. So it's created two new fields, day and month, and then simply use the day now and the month now as criteria, and then chose not to show those two fields. That is another, perhaps more simple way of typing out the exact same expression in Access. You still get the same results. And that's yet another way to combine functions and operators. Thanks for watching. For more great Microsoft Office tutorials, subscribe to TrainSignal's YouTube channel, TrainSignal Office, or you can visit www.trainsignal.com for more information regarding our complete Microsoft Office training library.